Hey guys and girls, of course. Uh, welcome to your first example video. Straight up, super easy. Uh, output to the screen example. Nothing really complicated at all. So, uh, but like I said in my last video, I'm assuming that you know some of those skills of programming. So you know what an integer is, and or you know what a, a library is, and and such. And uh, if you don't, it's not the biggest deal. You'll learn. I'll I'll talk a little bit about it as we go. But I won't go into detail. I'll take care of that in another series, which is a straight up uh, detailed tutorial from A to Z. So we'll see in there. But let's get started here. So what you need is an IDE, a integrated developer uh, development um, environment. So it could be code blocks, it could be Visual Studio like I'm using here. Um, but basically what you need to do in your IDE of choice is make a new project. So you're going to make a Windows, C++, Win32, Win32 console application. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to call it uh, examples, okay, like that. And then it'll ask you some stuff. You make an empty project. You don't want a lot of random files in there. If you don't do this, you're going to get a bunch of other uh, like stuff that we don't need to worry about. Uh, already written code. So just do that. I check that off sometimes because my teacher taught me. I don't know why. I'll check it out later. Um, but yeah, then you just finish it. Kablam. You got that. And it made a thing. I'm sorry it was a little slow. I think it's because of OBS. Um, but anyway, then you get this screen. You have empty. You don't have any files or anything. So what we're going to do is going to make a new item. It should be the same in any, any IDE. And you name it example01. And you make a C++ file, .cpp. And we'll talk about header files later. But it's a CPP file. So let's make that. And then you have a file here. And you can do stuff here. Woo! -hoo! So uh, as excited as you are, and I am, let's get started. So what are we going to do? Well, we want to output to the screen, right? And to do that, we need to include a library. So we need the preprocessor directive include. All preprocessor directives start with this hashtag symbol and that just means that the before the compiler will take care of that in a special way and we'll talk about that in detail later but include so you want to think of it as a, as a library in real life like there are a bunch of books and you have your little box there which you want to build something in and you're gonna take a few books and you're gonna put it in there so in that box you have everything you need right so some other person has written this library here that we can use. Nice of them, right? So we'll include, we'll include IO stream. Okay? We'll include IO stream. And then we'll use, okay? No, I'm sorry. What? Am I completely? Wow, you shouldn't even be looking at my tutorials oh my god okay cool so we include iostream these things are for your own libraries which you make later I'm sorry I got confused don't worry about it we're gonna use a namespace STD okay and we're gonna make our main function the thing is with the main function is that every program only has one main function and the main returns an integer value okay at the end of the program cycle so it'll return zero at the end which means the program has ended. So whatever you do here at the start of the program when it gets into main to the zero is what your program is. So just good to know. You could return some other stuff probably but zero is for exit, right? So anyway, now we've done everything. We're ready. We have the namespace which I'll explain soon. So we want to write something out to the screen. So to do that we need to use C out. Okay, and we're going to say, you know, hello world. Oh my god, I can spell today too. All right, cool. And then we'll just end the line. Okay, so thing here is that if we didn't have namespace std, see what happens. I just want to show you this quickly. These things are going to be like, hmm, it's unidentified. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, basically, this is part of the std namespace, so we would have to write this all the time. And we don't want to do that, you know, at least not now. I mean, using namespaces isn't really a good thing uh, because they can screw up with some other stuff you learn later. So just remember that, that at a point after a point when you learn a little more, 
you're going to stop using them, probably. And that also it depends on the teacher. So we have this, all right? So let's run this program. Let's see what happens. Uh, yes. See, it closed. This could happen as well, because I forgot. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to do system, pause. Oh, my God. There we go. So this could happen, and that's nothing to worry about. Then you just want to pause it before it returns the zero. See? So hello, world. Perfect. Easy, right? No problem. We could write other stuff here. You could write whatever you wanted. And you can have a few other lines here. So we could go crazy. We could go completely crazy here and make four hello worlds, world, worlds, right? And we got four hello worlds. So that's it. Thank you for watching this uber simple uh, output example. And we'll go on to the next one. It'll be a little more complicated. We'll take care of some input stuff and, and those things. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you then.